Hi, it's Therese and it's time to give me five with Penny Black and that means five same but different cards. And today is all about Critter Love and this is celebrating the new release from Penny Black and I just love the stamps and dies in this release. They are so much fun. Now I did stamp out all my critters with some onyx black ink but I'm just going to share this one here that I was stamping in the misty purely because I didn't want the rose image on this particular hedgehog to be stamped and I've just selectively masked that with some post-it note tape I have this tape I've not really used it before and I don't mind it it worked well so basically I'm just covering up the portion of the image that I didn't want to stamp with the tape adding the ink removing the post-it note tape and then stamping out my image. I have used this hedgehog, the rose and the bunny rabbit are all from a set called Lovable and it's a really cute little stamp set. These, most of the stamp sets that were released, I might be going out on the limb here, a lot of the stamp sets that were released on were a smaller stamp sets so they're a really good price point and of course they're the penny black critter images that we all know and love so a really good addition to the critters that i already have because the one that i'm coloring in here at the moment the two cat images they're actually from an older set called furry hugs so i just think all these images go really well with each other so you just what i'd like to do is just pick the images that I like the look of and I want to color you know when you see something and you think I just want to color that <laughs> that means I've got to have it <laughs> I'm using my Prismacolor pencils and what I usually like to do is add a couple of layers of color before I come in with my Gamsol and the blending stump so that way I've got a bit of shading already in place then after I've added the Gamsol with the blending stump I'll come in often and add a bit more shading after with the darker or in this case I'd mostly colored them gray I think yeah pretty much <laughs> the images are all colored gray so I did come in with the darker gray and add a little bit more shadowing I will list all of the colors of pencils that I use today at my blog and the link will be in the description below and you can head there for a full list of supplies as well and I presume you're pretty much like me at the moment there hasn't been a lot of spare time around and it's nice to have some fairly simple but fun designs because I still want to enjoy my stamps and my crafting even though my life is really busy with full-time shift work and visitors at the moment I don't know about you guys but we've had such a busy time we've been camping and we've had four different lots of visitors I love every minute of it but I also love to craft so that's why a couple of my designs have been a bit simpler lately just to try and still keep my hand in and enjoy what I do and have some me time and you know you can have some you time too I suppose <laughs> I'll allow it in fact I insist all right so this little image here this little puppy dog holding this big balloon bunch of heart balloons he's from a set a little set called so much love and i thought it'd be fun to have him standing on his own world so this wasn't rocket science i simply just came in with my copic multi-liner and drew my own world and i think he looks quite happy <laughs> i'm adding some simple shading I didn't want to complicate it by trying to add I mean it could have added cities and mountains and whatever but I wanted him and the balloons to be the focus and I did actually do this on one of the other cards today I'll um, you'll see that one I think it's the last card that I shared so two of the cards are similar in that respect to clean my blending stump did you see what I just did <laughs> I just wipe it on the on the copy paper what do you call it computer paper off to the side and that's just because I'm too lazy to actually um, I have one of those sticks that you can sharpen them on but I rarely do that I usually just keep a blending stump stump for each color family and then clean it off to the side and that seems to work really well for me and it's just a time saver 
and it's messy sharpening blending stumps I don't know about you guys but I don't like a mess well I'm kind of lying there you'll see later <laughs> and balloons balloons aren't my favorite to color well they are because I really like balloons but I find it difficult to get the depth for a balloon so I really just did some simple shading on these and then came in with the white gel pen after and added just a little highlight like I said I didn't want to over complicate these cards because time is tight I do love this little fella though I added a sentiment here it's from a set called love sentiments and I think it's because I stamped it over top of the you know the pencil the wax when I tipped it over to add the foam behind the back I smudged the sentiment so to fix it I just actually heat embossed it on some black cardstock and that seemed to fix it fine and then I just popped it up on the front of a top fold card how cute is he I did add a little bit extra shading too under his feet so my second card today I'm using this big love die and I've got some dark Craig cardstock and I want to make this a shaker a very simple shaker card I've got my dotted adhesive and gonna add some acetate behind the actual um, die cut and to make sure that I put all the other little pieces in place correctly I'm just temporarily sitting the love word back in place adding some adhesive behind the pieces and then sticking them directly on the acetate and then I can just remove the die the die cut love I decided to pop up the little bird within the shaker he's stuck there <laughs> permanently I do hope he doesn't suffocate but he is pretty happy sitting on the L I've added some sequins some clear sparkling and some really bright pink ones and created like a well with the fun foam behind the actual front layer of the card design and then just adhered that in place with some score tape and added the word you from another die cut set called love and miss you I actually used the other half the other word from that set on another card and that was sort of left over from a die cut now this is a great set of dies there are nesting rectangles and they actually cut a negative space of hearts and dots on the front of a on a card design or on a piece of cardstock so how I've done it here is I've used a piece of gray light gray cardstock heat embossed a sentiment from the love sentiments set again and just did that with some white um, embossing powder I'm creating a little tulle veil on a, a big um, it's like one of those really big glue dots because they're nice and sticky and I've scrunched up the tulle added a little twine bow and then I've just adhered it to the head of the <laughs> female hedgehog I added a dark gray background to the front of a side fold landscape card and popped up my panel on there and both of my little hedgehogs got pop, popped up as well I did add the rose separately because I wanted to and to give him a bow tie I've used two of the little hearts that are from the die cut border and trimmed off the chill I wasn't happy it was too long <laughs> that's the next card all finished we're getting there I think that's the third one so it must be up to the fourth card now and this is probably the most simple of all the designs and I've die cut the word love now this is from that same rectangle nesting border dies that I was on with the hearts and it comes with this word love in the center of it and I've die cut that with some nice hot pink cardstock and popped it up on some foam foam I've got a piece of gray cardstock cut to the same size as the front of my card and I mean I don't know like I'm trying to work out do I want this negative space heart this is also a really beautiful one that cuts out the negative space with some tiny little flowers and hearts I think they are maybe flowers but I, uh, in the end I just went with the word love and then popped up my lovable rabbit and oh the lovable rabbits and hedgehog come with coordinating dies they're called the lovable cutouts and they are so sweet and I really like how this little bunny colored up he's a real cutie 
And for my final card today, here's the other world. I've actually done this on a landscape side fold card this time and I just hand drew it pretty roughly, like I said, the same as before. And now I've cut this love train out of some dark grey cardstock, added some pink cardstock behind the actual heart. And I'm just going to pop that up on top of my world. I added a sentiment in some smoky grey ink from a set called Happy Snippets. You know me. And I thought this set, it says OMG, and I thought this would make a really great, like an engagement card or even a wedding card. And then I can just pop my cat images up on the front and that was my mess. Did I tell you? <laughs> I forgot that I was filming and I had such a mess on my desk, but you got to see my beautiful mess. And these little hearts that I'm adding with some liquid glue are actually from the word love that I used on the previous card. And that's my finished cards for today. Thanks so much for joining me here today and don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love it if you would join me here again real soon. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.